Alright, hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Comments are coming off. And I'll put them I'll put them back on when we uh, when we finish up. As I always do. Grab that foam roller and have a seat on it. Place your left ankle over your knee. And let's have a stretch. I'm going to be doing the breathing exercise just after this foam rolling wake up, mixing it up a little bit. Keep everyone guessing. Don't want to be predictable. Oh, and just that, get into that butt cheek. Now again, remember, those of you who don't have a foam roller, tennis ball is perfectly fine. Um, or if you want a bottle of 1.25 litre bottle of something or a two litre bottle of something um, or even like a, a football or Aussie rules football, American football, soccer football, basketball, whatever. You can kind of just, if you can balance onto it, you'll get the best, the same result. So we're just squeezing, going fishing for a sore spot. Again, if you feel one, just push that knee away from you, squeezing at that left butt cheek underneath, and then turning it off. So squeezing, I mean by engaging that butt cheek, and then we're just rolling around after a five seconds, and try and find another spot. And you find another spot, squeeze it on, hold it on, five, four, three, two, one, and turn it off. And... That's good. All right, we're going to go on towards our hip. So just lay, lay across it so that it is underneath you on the on the underneath leg. If your hand was on your hip, it's where your fingers live, in and around that. You can go fishing forward. You can go pushing it back. Obviously, I'm using my top hip as the example, but I'm referring to the bottom leg underneath me. And I always use the corner of the roller just to oh, get stuck in there a little bit. The end of the roller, rather, in the corner. The end. Teaching my kids, there are no corners on a circle. So I have to pull myself up sometimes. Okay, once you're fishing around, get that squeeze. If you find a sore spot, tighten and really contract this bottom leg. Tighten that thigh, hold that tension in the bottom leg and then bend the leg and let it rest and go again finding another one fishing around you can come forward all the way to the front of that thigh or you can go slightly around to the side and if you find anything on the front of that thigh bend you can turn it in the foot you can turn the foot out you can lengthen it and just you're teaching that body to stop holding on to that tension and that pressure. Alright, going over the side, over that greater trochanter, that big bumpy bit in your leg. And now we are slowly trying to relax the bottom leg as we slowly gently rock forward and back as we roll down the leg toward the knee. Keeping the bottom leg turned off as much as you possibly can. Turn it off, keep it off. If you find a sore spot, hold the leg straight, tighten that bottom leg up, and then bend the knee and just relax it. And continue. We are slowly, oh yeah. You can feel those muscles just flicking over themselves. Feels good in a painful, weird kind of way. All right, we're going to come back up sitting. We're going to do other other butt cheek. Right ankle, left knee. And then just drift that knee down toward the mat. And we're just rolling forward and back. This is day 13. I want for everybody who has done at least 10 days with me, ideally obviously all 13 to write in to me, DM me on Instagram, or write comment on YouTube. I wanna see how you guys are feeling. 
I want to see your results. I want to make sure that everybody is with me, that your pain is decreased, whether you can now, without realizing it, touch your toes, whether you can just push yourself a little further more than you thought, whether you can get out of bed without any discomfort and pain or your lower back pain starting to go away. I want to know about it. And let's celebrate these two weeks for tomorrow. Is that going to be day 14, two weeks on the trot? And we're just in our hip area now, rolling slightly forward and rolling slightly back, reminding ourselves to really relax that bottom leg here. It's like you're dragging that leg, heavy anchored leg as we do this. Find a sore spot if you want to, you can tighten and hold that bottom leg and then turn it off. If you feel it in that front of that hip. It's weird actually, my, as we go down that leg, past that greater trochanter, and we're just rolling toward the knee. My world is everybody else's world has changed so significantly. And I find myself these days, instead of at film studios or wherever I am in the world, in the gyms, in the different productions, that I'm working on at the moment, I find myself now literally sitting down in front of a computer teaching people. And it's so weird. I got into this gig initially so that I didn't have to sit in front of a computer oh, for hours on end. And now that's all I'm doing. But as we come back to the hip, let's do our back. Adjust it so that it's around your shoulder blades. Remember to place the hands behind the head and really rest that chin. Rest the back of the head into these hands so that you can extend over and that your neck at the front isn't gripping and holding that head up. I don't want the neck muscles here tightening up. I don't want your neck here from your shoulders tightening up either. I want you to be able to scoop those shoulder blades as you gently uh, extend over. If your elbows are together, you can just rub and rock in between those two shoulder blades. If you find a sore spot, you just lean on it and extend over. Start to feel what your body is telling you. It's like pain. Oh yeah, that's. I need some extra stretch and more attention in that area. Breathe. As you come up, I want these hands to really hold this head. It's like you're doing a crunch, but your hands are helping your head. So chin to chest, embrace that tummy and pull yourself up through your tummy muscles at the front. Bring your heels closer to your butt. Lift your hips up a little bit. Push with the feet, roll back an inch or so. Drop your butt down and gently extend over. Again, those of you who feel a bit uncomfortable here, place a good few pillows or towels behind your head and that will help you just psychologically get used to extending rather than not and being paranoid and afraid that you're going to hurt yourself. Okay, we're slowly coming back as we walk our feet. Our feet, when we sort of start to panic, our feet go away from us. Bring those feet in towards us just for some more support. And now the foam roller should be around about lower body, lower back, lower spine. And from here, just allow these hips to scoop, still staying on the roller, but you're just scooping and arching that back. So you're scooping and as you scoop, you squeeze your butt cheeks and brace the tummy and then arch over as well. So just give a little scoop, squeeze on and turn off. From here, we are going to go our right leg long, left knee up and over. And we're just 
having a little rotation stretch now the underneath leg the foam roller should be digging in the bottom leg so really relax that bottom leg and you should start to feel that hip area again like we did before basically the same place where if a hand is on our hip my fingers that's where I want the foam roller to be positioned I don't want it on the bone of that pelvic girdle here and I don't want it on the bony process on your bread trochanter either I want it in between those two spots all right return back to center swap legs first and then roll over and if your back hops a little bit it's a good thing it's nice just loosen up yes the foam roller is digging into the hip underneath you but the muscle bit like I said before not the bone so adjust it until it's painfully acceptable <laughs> but still remembering to relax the bottom leg. And then we kind of come back to center, both feet on the floor, scoop the hips up, remove the foam roller. Okay, sitting up, kick off those shoes or socks and or socks if you want to. All right, now we're all nice and loose, relaxed. Let's get into that box breath. Okay, chin to chest, let's center ourselves, rounding through the spine. Nice deep breath in through the nose. For the count of six, two, three, four, five, six, and hold that at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and breathe out. Two, three, slouching forward, five, Six and hold at the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six. And again, breathing in through the nose if you can. Really inflate those rib cage, rounding. You're trying to breathe across your back. It's like an umbrella is opening up. Nice long breath and hold at the top. Two, three, four, five, and breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, and hold at the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six, and breathing in. Hold. And out. One more time in. Hold. And out. Hold. Okay, and we're back in the room. Very good. Grab yourself a towel for me, please. Lying down on our side. To start with, hand onto the hip, push that hip away and notice there's a tunnel underneath my body. Don't let that tunnel collapse. If you have to, place the hand in front to help yourself lift that tunnel. That's fine too. Okay, that's your options. From here, we're just gonna raise both feet off the floor and we're gonna squeeze the top leg up to the ceiling as we push the bottom knee down into the floor. So bottom knee is down into the floor Top knee is squeezing to lift the knee to the ceiling. So it's that butt cheek on the top side that is working as well. And the bottom leg is also trying to stabilize and help. If you wanted to try and not only activate the top leg, but you can also get involved the bottom leg as well. If you're trying to push your feet together to lift the knees off each other, that will help activate not just the top butt cheek but also the resting bottom butt cheek as well so here we are just waking up our butt cheeks in the morning as we do 
We brace through the tummy, we keep the rib cage engaged, and we're just squeezing that top leg up and down, keeping the feet off the floor. You may start to feel the bottom butt cheek, the resting on the floor butt cheek working as well. That's okay, that's a good thing. Keep that tunnel underneath your body maintained. Five, four, three, two. We rest the bottom leg down, we lengthen the top leg away, and we start to pull back into a slow controlled circle. Slow controlled circle, remembering it is not a big range of movement. And look at my foot position. My foot and toes are not fall falling to the floor. If anything, they're slightly up to the ceiling, slightly. And we're squeezing as we lift up and around, turn it off and down. Up and around is on, down and back. Slow. If you can do this slow, you can do it fast, but it's gonna hurt more slowly because you gotta really concentrate and engage, get that mind-muscle connection going on. That is the point. Those of you who start to feel it in the side of your leg or the front of your thigh, Roll yourself forward to the camera a little bit. Roll yourself forward to the screen and that will just, and kick it back slightly. Let's reverse those circles now. Kick it back to circle and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it, keep it going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, don't stop. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Tap that butt on your back. Let's have a stretch. Place the left ankle over the right knee and hug in towards you. That left knee goes towards your left shoulder the first stretch second stretch you can bring it across your body sometimes if you do it across your body those of you may feel a bit of impingement through the hip at the front so just keep it to the same side or push that knee away there you're three whatever you feel you need to do more of I suggest you do it now whether it's hugging in to the same side shoulder the opposite side shoulder or pushing that knee away. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rolling over to the other side for me, please. Get yourself comfortable, feet stacked, hips long and away, and top hand onto the back pocket of your jeans as we get going. Now remember, the bottom knee is trying to push into the floor the top knee is going up to the sky. The feet are also, those feet are trying to push together to raise that leg up. So you're just getting that squeeze on. And we, resting the head and shoulders, lifting and keeping that little tunnel underneath us. So if I was to come over there and just slide my hand underneath your waist, there would be a space there that I can do that. We're just lowering the knee, the top leg, and squeezing it back up again, keeping our feet together, squeezing that butt cheek as we lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep those feet, those heels, the pads of your feet at the top there, to squeezing together. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's go up and hold and extend. Circle slowly one way. Really straighten this leg out. I don't know why, but I have a tendency to soften my knee a little bit when I do this without concentrating it. So really lengthen that leg. Squeezing that butt cheek as we circle around. Keep it going. Circle, circle, slowly. As you go 
up and around. It's the butt cheek that does the squeezing. On the way down and back, turns off a little bit. So if you want to slow the movement down, please do. And just get that connection going onto that right butt cheek. I don't want you to get complacent and think, oh, we've done this for 12, 13 days in a row. I know what I'm doing. Use this time wisely to really engage and center and bring yourself back into that body and concentrate on how you move. It's how you move today and during these classes, which is what's gonna bring you in and you're gonna bring these new thoughts, I suppose, of how you hold, where you hold your tension into your day. And some of you have been telling me that you didn't realize that you just walked around with your shoulders up near your ears or reversed the circles or you walked around and just held your butt cheeks clenched together for no real reason. You're learning to turn off. You're learning to relax. You're learning to understand where your body holds its tension and you're turning it off and you're changing your habits. That is how you're going to get that long term change of improved long term posture. Get out of that pain because your body is just overworking unnecessarily. That's why we do our deep breaths in the morning beforehand to get ourselves centered and focused on what we're doing. It is a bit of a journey, but it's a crash course. These 21 days of every single day, I'm going to be drilling it into your mind. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Tap that butt on your back. Let's have that stretch. Right ankle, left knee. Oh, feel that. We can either bring that knee to the same shoulder on the right side. Or we can bring it across your body. Or we push that knee away. That's it. Keep that stretch going, everyone. Oh, what a lovely day. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, we're sitting up. We're placing the towel behind our butt. We'll do some rollbacks, nice and tall. Remember the thickness of that towel is important. If you don't need it, you can get rid of it. If you do need it, and just adjust it slow so that it's comfortable and you can perform these rollbacks nice and slowly without lifting your feet off the floor, ideally. Okay? And just challenge yourself and adjust it as you go. You may need it thinner today than you did yesterday. That's called progress. Or you just may keep it going, keep it behind you, and then that will give you the support and the control that you need to perform the exercise properly. That's also a good thing. So you have to personalize this little program using the thickness of the towel, using different body positions, using sometimes different equipment whether it's a bottle of water as a foam roller or a big pillow behind you, I don't really mind. They are all good options. Remove the towel if you don't need it. I'm bringing my hands above my head as I lay down flat. And as I lay down flat, my chin is towards my head. My head is now relaxed. As I come back up, just scoop those shoulder blades first, then the hands lift as we sit up nice and tall, okay? So don't think of this as just you're throwing your hands above the head. Think, scoop the shoulder blades, use this as another time to re-engage that upper back to get those shoulders back and down. That's it, five, four, Three, two, 
to. I had a message the other day from someone joining in. Wants to remain anonymous, that's fine. Let's drop down halfway and hold for me. So get that tummy on and hold. And I was so excited, they actually put their socks on for the first time, one leg at a time, standing up for the first time in I don't know how long. I think they were about 65. And I was so excited. And I was, oh. It's those little wins, it's those little things that really make it all worthwhile. I forgot we're doing this. How long have we been here for again? <laughs> Five, four, a little lower. Don't cheat yourself. Three, two, and roll all the way down. Uh, and back up again. Just hug those knees to your chest. Reset. Scoop the shoulder blades, scoop the hips, roll back halfway. And hold. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the brace in that tummy. As long as your toes are touching, I don't really mind. Your feet have to lift and that's harder, weirdly. If you want to lengthen up, you can. But if you just want to keep your feet on the floor, you can also do that. And roll down. One more time. Reset, nice and tall. Give yourself a bit of a shake. Scoop the hips, roll down halfway. Raise your left foot, raise your right foot, hold if you can, lengthen, bring it back, your left leg, now your right leg, lengthen, bring it back, again, left leg, right leg, <laughs> again, left leg, right leg, hold the legs in the air, roll back if you can, slowly. Oh, yeah, I know. I felt that one too. Oh, why do I end up doing that to myself? As I'm bringing out the worst in me. Okay, from here, on all fours. Chin to chest and just arch through that spine. Drop through those hips. Have a good stretch through those abdominals. And again, drop the chin, scoop the hips and arch all the way up. Okay. From here, grab that towel. Place it on your forehead as you lay down. Remembering when you lay down on your tummy, it's the brace of the tummy underneath you to keep that tension there. Lengthen through. Palms down, tummy on, shoulders off the floor, palms off the floor. Tuck that chin so you're looking down your nose at the mat in front of you. With your hands hovering off, scoop the shoulder blades more. Thumbs to the ceiling with a bit of a squeeze through those shoulder blades. Don't disengage your tummy underneath you. Squeeze your butt cheeks if you have to, that's okay too. Now lift the forehead off the towel if you haven't already. See how high you can get without disrupting any other head or shoulder or tummy core position. Hold. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Adjust yourself every so often. Two. One. Return the hands. Return the head. Return the shoulders. Have a breath. Reset, shoulders back and down, hands hover, thumbs pointing with a squeeze of the shoulder blades, chin to chest, just hover off the towel a little bit. If you can come a little higher without anything disrupting the position, please do. Hold, hold, hovering the hands now out to the crucifix position. Hold in that Mission Impossible style, hold, inspired by Good old, what's his name? Tom Cruise. Return the hands, <laughs> should know that. And hands down, head down, relax the shoulders. Again, shoulders back, hover the hands, thumbs to the ceiling, forehead off the towel, 
Squeeze the butt cheeks, brace the tummy, lift, lift, lift. Arms out to the side, this time above your head. Clap those hands together. Return the hands back, out to the side, toward the hip. Don't lower yourself. Lift a little bit more. Nine, eight, keep that chin tucked. Seven, shoulders down, shoulders back. Six, tummy on. Five, butt cheek squeezing. Four, three, two, and rest. Come up onto all fours into child's pose. Walk the knees underneath you. Sit back on your butt. Slide the hands forward and drop that head down. And rock if you can. Left to right. Rocking slowly left to right. Drop your left cheek onto your left hand with the palm to the ceiling. Right hand on top of the left hand. Add a bit of a shrug on that left side. So you're scooping the shoulder blade, you're really shrugging the shoulder blade and now keeping the left arm straight, you're scooping it underneath, you get that tension under the armpit. Again, you shrug and you scoop. And one more time and out. Go to the other side, palm to the ceiling. Left hand on top of the right hand, right cheek on the arm. Have a breath for a sec. And let's go. Shrug and scoop. And again, shrug and scoop. And one more time. Good shrug and stretch. Lean into it as you scoop back and down. All right. Day 13 is complete. Very well done, everybody. Day 14 is a Sunday tomorrow. Thank you all very, very much for coming again. No pun intended, I don't mean that at all. <laughs> but thank you very much for attending. Day 13, had a great day. Have a great day, stay happy, stay safe, stay home as much as you can. We are all in this together, guys. We're doing a fantastic job. So, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna keep the comments flicking back on in a minute. Have a breath. Well done, take on the day.